follow me, swallow me, drip down the side of me, quick jump out for you, let it get inside of me, I tell them where to put it, never tell them where I'm about to be, I'll run down on them before I have a nigga running me, talk your s***, bite your dip, ask for a call while you ride that s***, really ain't never got him fucking for a thing. Oh shit, here we go again. It's currently 11.10 and it's Christmas. But sadly, I'm not doing anything for Christmas and I will be spending Christmas alone. Well, not really alone because uh, Lou's with me. Say hey, Lou. Hey, hey, nanny, nanny. And I decided why not show y'all a Christmas spent alone. Oh, my titty out. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I literally just want to lay in bed for Christmas, but I'm not. Because last night I did my hair. Don't mind the hole in the bunny. I really don't know how it got there. And it's literally getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, what the fuck? Oh my life, I had to fight. Literally. But I did my hair last night. Well, tried to do my hair last night. I had... Lou! He looking for some breakfast that I dropped, but really didn't drop. But anyways, um, I tried to revamp this wig. One of my old wigs. I'm going to show y'all if I get up or hopefully when I get up. Psych! Oh, let me show you how to fit. I have on this bonnet with some gold hoops. Always got to rock the gold hoops. And a robe with some pajama pants and long socks. But under those pajama pants, I slept in boxers. Oh, yeah. That's the fit. It's really not fitting. It's like, oh, my gosh. It's giving... A lonely Christmas night by yourself. No gifts, no interaction, no human interaction. That's what it's giving, honestly. All my life I had to fight. And that's just the truth. Anyways, um, I just want to clock in and start the vlog, start this video. Hopefully y'all seeing this video on a Monday. If y'all seeing this video on a Monday, comment something pink. Or just comment how you feel today or what you got for Christmas. I do read my comments, by the way. I ended up getting my tire fix and... Apparently, I think it's a nail in my tire, so I got to get a whole new tire probably. Because he filled up the tire, the tire thing went went away, and now all of a sudden, I went outside to go check the P.O. box. Because somebody sent me something in my P.O. box. I tried to go see what it was, and bitch, my tire said, do 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 20. Like, why is my shit on 20 when it's supposed to be on 40-something? So, yeah, that's the tea about my car. Literally. Tea about my love life. Honestly, I don't really have tea on that. I don't, I'm not really looking for nobody. Like, I'm not interested. Like, I'm interested in boosting myself up. Because I notice when I'm in a relationship, I put my all towards the person. And I found that's really unhealthy. Like, really, really unhealthy. Maybe not for you. Maybe not for the next. But for me, that's unhealthy. Like, I end up losing myself. And I end up going on a different path that I'm not supposed to be on. That's really fucking unhealthy. I know a lot of y'all in my comments, because I do read my comments, say this year, like this year has been kicking y'all ass. I hope the next year bring you nothing but joy and abundance. Literally. Literally. And peace. We need the peace. Lord Jesus, we need the peace. And money. Money. Money too. Money too. And smiles. And laughs. You know what? I just hope next year bring y'all nothing but positive vibes, because baby, this was one of a hell of a year. Is that how the saying go? I really don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to vent a little bit and update you guys about my life. All right, y'all. I'm about to try on these clothes. Hopefully, they give what they're supposed to be giving. If not, bummer. Okay, with the sweater, I'm really loving the sweater. Even though it's a bit thin, but it's like this really nice, soft cotton material. And it's really keeping me warm. As y'all know, it's like 18 degrees. Well, when I woke up, it was 18 degrees outside. Now it's about 30 degrees outside. And yeah, don't mind the hat because I'm not going to be wearing it with it. So yeah, keep that in mind when I show y'all the whole fit. Right now, we're just getting into the, you know, the sweater. It's definitely giving vintage. I tried to go for the vintage look. I'm not going to lie, as y'all can see. And this is it. This is how it looks from the back. It has an attached collar. You can pop it up if you like. If you're into that, you can keep it down. Because I think I'm going to just keep it down. I don't think the pop collar look good on me. Anyways, let's get into the pants. Honestly, I don't know if I was pairing this particular sweater with these cargo pants. But it's kind of growing on me. So, I love that. Anyways, these are the pants. Eat a pant. 
Mr. Pants, Mr. Pants, Mr. Pants. As y'all can see, you always have to do the twerk test. If you don't do the twerk test, you're going to be mad in the end. Because if you can't really twerk in them, how can you, like, work in them? If you get what I'm saying. Anyways, um, I love the color. I love the olive. They're super, super baggy, but not too baggy because they ain't falling off. If I went up a size bigger, by the way, these are a W27, a W27. So the waist is 27 and the length on these is, what the length on these? The length is a 30, the length, the length, what is it? Oh my life, I had to fight. You don't come for me in the comments, but the L is 32 and mind you i'm a five three and a half and i got some extra room like if i was a little taller i still be good anyways these are the jeans how do y'all like this fit together just imagine me with a purse super cute me with some shoes maybe some tennis shoes and i was going for the tennies with some gold jewelry or some gold accessories some nice sunnies just pose like this or something like this like this even like that maybe not the last post but just imagine it i think this fit will be winning it's already winning but just you know keep that in consideration on your rate okay anyways yeah mind you the pockets they work and they're so deep let me show y'all for example here's the remote this remote is the size of my hand a little bigger watch this day where it go here is a water bottle. Hold on, let me show you how deep the pockets is. You can fit a whole water bottle and you won't even see the water bottle. Right. And we got some pockets down here. They're deep as well. So if you want some calf pockets, we have some. I really love these. And it's my booty poking. Even though these baggy, my booty's still poking. Well, I kinda gotta do the, you know, how the leg up. Let's see what it is. Okay, not bad. But if you stick that leg up, my booty is poking. If you put it back in, it's still poking. Anyways, this is the first fit. It's the first fit. Let me change now. I'm feeling this fit a little too much. All right, y'all. This is the second outfit. Honestly, I don't know how I really, really, honestly, honestly, honestly feel about this one. Only because I don't know what shoes I will wear with this. Probably my pine. My pine uh, one. I don't know if the green's going to be off. But uh, this is the second fit I have on this. Not really an oversized sweater. I think this is a small. And on it, it says, be the light. So, yeah. Based off the feel of this material, it's very soft. And on the inside, it's very warm. So, but it is a bit thin like the other one. But it's still giving that winter vibe. That Christmas vibe. Just with a different aesthetic. Not your typical holiday aesthetic but it's still you know giving christmas if you ask me honestly i paired it with these black cargos these are a w26 they're one size smaller than the other size and the length is is it length or length i don't know just correct me in the comments but they go all the way down just like the other ones same length same length whatever you call it but on the waist they snug it a little bit better it's not a little bit better, but they're stretch material. So it's like, oh my gosh, a win-win. I can even go down two more sizes if I wanted to. Yeah, this is the fit. I don't know if I like this one better than the other one. I think I like the other one better. This one is kind of giving, it's giving Christmas, but it's not making me like, hey, hey, creamy, creamy. It's not making me do none of that. Maybe I just need to accessorize it a little more because I only have this necklace on and... These earrings that y'all can barely see. Oh, Lou wanna show y'all his fit. You wanna show him? This Lou fit, his Lou winter fit. So y'all can see. And period. Don't play with him. Alright, guys, this is the oh <laughs> not me trying to be bougie. <laughs> Alright, y'all, this is the final look. And honestly, I feel like I belong in mean girls. Y'all know how they did that, uh walking around. The Christmas tree. Girl, it wasn't even that song. Was it that song? I don't even know. But y'all know when they was performing, doing a little talent show or whatever. That's how I feel. So this the fit. Don't focus on my legs. I really didn't shave my legs. I ain't shaved none of my body parts. So FYI. Keep that in mind. But for y'all comment. For y'all comment, keep that in mind. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, um, this is a nice little two-piece. It's like a teddy bear material, so 
that's why i'm getting like the christmas vibe literally it's very beautiful honestly you cannot bend over oh shoot y'all see my booty you can't bend over because you're gonna see the little crack the whole all this shit if you didn't shave oh shit lord jesus anyways um i love how it fits the only thing i really don't like about it is it kind of don't snub the waist how i want it to snub the waist so it's causing like the back to do i got this all backwards no it's causing the back to like i don't know be a little loose let me see what size i got i got a size small i think it comes in in an extra small i should have got the extra small but if i would have got the extra small i feel like my arms would be flooded in a way and i just don't like that at first i thought they was flooding when i put it on because i forgot it goes like off the shoulders i pulled it all the way up and you see when i pull it all the way up it's like damn <laughs> damn yeah this is the fit i really like it i love the details when i say the details as in it folding over like this and you can wear it off the shoulders it's giving like a slutty mrs claus if you ask me what shoes would i pair it with you may ask i don't know but i know i probably would mostly nine times out of ten put it with heels even though y'all barely see me in heels i'll probably step out in the heel shit and a cute little bag with this what accessories i don't know i feel like you need diamonds with this um, yeah this is the last fit how do y'all like how do y'all like anyways don't forget to head over to tiktok and see how these outfits came about and see how i pose in them and just see that discount code because baby save a little coin okay you know what let me stop getting a little ha 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 in this outfit because this is not the occasion for like i belong you know, at an expensive dinner with this outfit, honestly. Y'all probably a little throw it off because I got this uh, beanie on. Alright y'all, it's some time later and I decided why not fix what broke. Like literally, this YSL, oh my gosh, is it gonna go back to normal? Hopefully it go back to normal because literally, I accidentally broke it. How, you may ask? I was moving around some stuff and this literally fell and it's made out of real marble mind you so i have my hot glue gun mind you i'm on my last strip of glue i know it's not a strip but i'm on my last little glue stick and it's pretty deep in there so i got me a little tool right here so i can just push it up and try to fix this hopefully i be bob the builder anyways a shout out to ysl for sending me this i am trustworthy of every package you send me it's just this this real marble i'm determined to fix this like honestly i had to get hard because i'm really sad about it like i'm really really sad about it because this is a real marble and it just said boom i heard it break i heard it break but you know when you hear something break you in disbelief and you don't want to check? Yeah, it was one of them moments. Damn, baby. I just don't understand what we went wrong. I gave you my heart. I gave you my soul. I gave you Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn, this metal thing is hot. I don't know why I just touched it. And I'm still touching it like an idiot. Anyways, it's fixed. Ah! Let me not let me not do too much before it just falls off. I low key just have to, you know, kind of add a little more glue to the E because yeah, that broke off a little bit too. It didn't break off. It just stopped sticking when it broke. Anyways, let me take this out very gently. I mean, carefully. Hold on. Oh, it's back one piece. I kind of want to put it in the restroom. Oh, I kind of want to turn my restroom into a luxury, a luxurious restroom. Anyways, this is how it's looking. Oh my gosh. Maybe if I, um, I don't know what to tell me. Like, honestly, I don't want to be sad about it. Because it's real. It's that real marble. Shout out to YSL for sending me this again. And honestly, oh my gosh, at least it's one. Let me just think positive. It's, at least it's one. It's one. That's all that matters. It's one. It's back hole. And I can use it to accessorize the room a little bit. So I love that. I love that. Anyways, yeah.
I'm finally in the gym and honey, I'm just sitting here. Well, I just got here, FYI, like 30 seconds ago. But if y'all hear a loud vacuum, that's because they're cleaning in the other room. But babes, I don't know what to do first. Like, I feel so foreign to the gym. I haven't been in the gym in so long. This is what I got on my gym fit. I got on my bandana because I got a secured hair. I got on this brown oversized, what is this, a sweater? And I got on my sweats, but under my sweats, in case I get hot or in case I'm really working out, I have on these spandex, but I doubt I'ma really be working this hard where I'm just like, oh, bitch, like we gotta take these off, you know? And I got on my workout shoes. I've been having these workout shoes for a really long time. I need to get some new ones if I get committed to working out. y'all i finally made it back in the house i got two trashes to take out not one but two y'all i cannot feel my arms nor my legs like what the y'all know the first day back working out it's hell it's hell and i pushed myself so lord jesus I know I kind of ended this video off a little random, but my bad. I literally didn't pick up the camera after this, so excuse me. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not a part of Team Tay, what are you waiting for? Hit that notification bell. Join the team. We're such a vibe. I can't go too far without giving y'all a little advice of the day. And my advice of the day from Tay, as always, would have to be stay positive, stay blessed, and never stressed. On that note, I love you guys. Bye. Look at this dude. <laughs>